Hey, what's up, Good Life? Thanks for joining me for today's 128 moment. I missed you guys this weekend, but a huge thanks to Alexis and the worship and tech teams for leading and to Calvin for preaching on Sunday. You know, the Lord has richly blessed our small church with a huge number of people with big gifts. And I'm so thankful for the folks who who stepped up this past weekend so several of us could be away to attend the Engage Global Mission Workshop. We have a lot to process that we experienced from the weekend, but today I want to share with you three things as I reflect on all that we heard and all that we saw and all that we experienced while we were in Minneapolis. First, I want to say thank you to those who helped us go. A few people weren't able to go themselves, but but wanted to make sure others could, so they made very generous contributions to help the trip be more affordable for those who went. So, so thank you so much for supporting us and for sending us. And second, I want to say thank you to those who prayed for us. It was truly an amazing experience that helped me, and I think helped the team view missions through a little bit different lens, a more proper lens, and, and the weekend was just packed. It, like It felt like sometimes hey, you're drinking from a fire hose. One team member described it as being water boarded from a fire hose, but in the most beautiful, helpful, and profound way. So thank you so much, Good Life, for your prayers. And third, out of all the things we heard this weekend, I really can't pack them all into one short video. But as I'm still processing much of what I've heard, I do want to share this one question with you to reflect part of what we heard. And it's a big question. Do you know why you're here? It's a big question, but it's not just a question about why are you in your family or why are you in your job or why are you in your career or why are you at this church? Think, think a lot bigger. Do you know why you exist? It's a big question, but it's not a new question. Followers of Jesus have wrestled with this question for centuries, and they've arrived at the conclusions that are preserved in the great creeds and confessions of our faith, where they answer the question, what's the purpose of man? And when they pose that question, they answer it with this, to glorify God and enjoy him forever. To enjoy God is to enjoy being in right relationship with him, with the one who created you. But, but that's only possible because Jesus made a way to reconcile us to God, a way for sinners to be saved by grace through faith. So, so part of our purpose is for our greatest joy to be found in our relationship with God. But to put it another way, part of our purpose is to enjoy God's grace personally. But what does it mean then to glorify God? We know that the purpose of creation is the glory of the creator, that God's character and his attributes can be clearly seen in everything he has made, and it should be clearly seen in and through us. But what does it mean really? What does it mean practically for us to glorify God? Glorifying God is giving him the credit, the spotlight, the renown that he deserves. John Piper says it this way, that God is most glorified in us when we are most satisfied in him. It's a big task, but that task also comes with a big scale. So how will we know when we've completed our purpose? One of my, one of my favorite verses in the Bible is Habakkuk 2.14, where it says, For the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Our purpose is to make the glory of God known around the world for the knowledge of him to fill the whole earth. And we can't slow up or let up until that purpose is accomplished. Why are you here? Why do you exist? It's to glorify God and enjoy him forever. And as I process what we heard and experienced this weekend and, and taking what I know from scripture and what, I, and what I understand from the great creeds and confession of our faith, our purpose is to enjoy God's grace personally and to extend his glory globally. And if that's your purpose, my purpose, our purpose, then why we exist should determine everywhere we go and everything we do. Then everything about us should be focused on enjoying God's grace and extending his glory to both our neighbors and to the nations. So good life. Let me close with this question. Are you living out your purpose? If so, how? Know it. Be able to answer that. And if not, ask God to help you start today enjoying his grace and extending his glory. I hope it encourage you, in, encourages you today. I hope it gives you a little bit of a taste of, of what the team experienced this weekend. And hopefully you'll be able to join us on Sunday as we continue walking through the Gospel of John, the end of Passion Week in our series called The Gospel. We will be at the church at 9, 30, and 11. We'll be online at 11. And I invite you to be there with us 
And as you go through this week, focus on enjoying God's grace and extending his glory. I love you. We'll see you soon.